In this video, we are going to look at volume and surface area of combined solids. Three dimensional figures. You will find this on page 538 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Volume and surface area of combined solids. solids. Calculate the volume, the total surface area of the combined cone cylinder hemisphere. All lengths are in centimeters. Now, just take note. There's the cone, there's the cylinder, and there is the hemisphere. So, the radius of, well, the, the total surface combines are all lengths. So I gave you this picture, it seems to me I didn't describe it there, but the radius is 5, that is 15, and this height is 12. So if I say the total volume, so first the volume, volume of a cone, it's one third area of base times height, volume of the cylinder is just area of base times height, not the third, volume of a hemisphere will be a half, 4 over 3 pi r to the power of 3. And then I just substitute. Keep it in terms of pi, and then at the end, I can just work it out. Then the total surface area. Now, remember that it's only the outside. So it's not the total surface area of the cone. It's just the curved surface area. The cylinder is also just the curved surface area, and the hemisphere is easy because it's just half of that. So it's the curved surface area of the cone, which is pi r l, then the curved surface area of the cylinder, which is 2 pi r h, and then half a sphere, which is half of 4 pi r squared. Again, just substitute and work it out. Okay, let's go on. Okay, now let's see. I want you to do trinal 54. I want you to do number A. You again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, now if I start with that one, let's see, find the volume. So this is number A, and this is the first one. So if I'm going to find the volume, it's, remember, this is a hemisphere, so it's the volume. I just want to say volume. Hemisphere. Plus volume of the cone. And then just bring in your formulas. Now remember, hemisphere is just a half, so it's 4 over 3 by r to the power of 3 plus volume of a cone is a third pi r square h. Then I substitute. Now if you the half of this, it's going to be 4 over 6, which you can simplify to 2 over 3. And then it's going to be pi and the radius plus a third pi, the radius, don't forget, the diameter is 6, so the radius will just be 3. And the height, now remember, if this is 3, then this will also be 3. And this mm, will then be 7. Okay, so if I just look at this one, remember this was the sphere, so this one will be 7. And then if I work out that, I will get 18 pi plus 21 pi, and that is 39 pi, and approximate the three significant fingers, it's one, two, three cubic centimeters. Okay, that's the first one. And then the second one, And that's the total surface area. So if I work out the total surface area of the, um, let's just quickly find, 
total surface area 36 of the solids so before I can find that I must just quickly um, the cone I, oh that is the problem I don't have the slant height but I can work it out how can I work it out there's my triangle so that slant height will just be okay it's a square root so actually it's Pythagoras theorem so it's 7 squared plus 3 squared which is the square root of 58 so that will be the square root of 58 and then I can say the total surface area is the surface area of the hemisphere plus the curved surface area curved surface area of the cone so that will give me a half 4 pi r squared plus only, only the outside not the base because that's inside so pi r l and that's going to give me then a half so it's 2 pi and that's 3 squared plus pi the radius is 3 and that's slant height otherwise if you take the square root you must remember to, to, to calculate the full value or to keep the full value and after you do that you will get an answer correct to three significant 128 centimeter square and that's how you do it let's look at this final one just going to move up a little bit an injection molding tool for producing plastic cones is a cylindrical block with a conical hole drilled in it the cylinder and the cone have the same radius 4 and the length is 11 find the volume of the two so it's just the volume of the cylinder because that is the metal almost minus the volume of the cone and that's all that I do and I substitute and I get the answer okay again I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one you can continue the video as soon as you are finished okay calculate the volume of the material used to make the hemispherical bowl if the inner radius of the bowl is 5 and the outer is 5.5 .5. okay so let's start so it's just two again that you are going to subtract so the volume this is number one the volume of material is the volume of the outer Amy Smith minus the volume of the inner and that don't forget it's half it's a hemisphere so let's just say it's a half and what is the formula um, it's 4 over 3 pi r to the power of 3 that is now the outside minus <coughs> half 4 over 3 pi r 3 and that's the inside or the inner one and then I just substitute and that's pi and the radius that one can you see the outer one it's 5.53 minus a half 4 over 3 pi 5 3 and that will give me again because it's 4 over 6 so 2 over 3 oh come on 
pi. Uh, I'm taking because that's also 2 over 3. And if I'm then taking, it's actually just that I take it out as a common factor, but you can just press it on your calculator. Minus that 5, but then I have to put a bracket there, 5, 3. And then if I press everything on my calculator, correct to three significant figures is 86.7 centimeter squared. That is the, the metal, the, um, calc the volume. No, it's not square, it's cube because it's volume. That's the volume of material that they used.